I can be in a business. It's good that you can be in a business. It's good that you can trade, but how much capital do you have? How much skills do you have? That is fine to everybody. If we choose to trade, if we choose to use our capital, market is open, Royal Q robot is there, skills, you have it, how much capital do you have? But creation of wealth comes from building the world. When we talk about building the world is, of course, bringing traders on board to use Royal Q. This builds for you organization. This builds for you affiliate. This builds for you a system. And of course, once you do it, you become, you create fortune. Like who? Like V5s we know, like V6s we know, like V4s we know. That when you talk about VIP, V5, V4, it means the rank, a Royal Q user who has built the team of traders reaches, and when he reaches that rank, the traders under his organization builds for him a business. How they trade anyone who makes profit, Royal Q pays him. That's why I'm here. That's why I am here. I am V3 by rank. V3 has reached 100 people who are trading under his link. Those people are, some are dialects and the few, only five are direct to me. That is the, the, the condition. But others, I am not the one who brought them in the business, but I'm paid for everyone among those 100 Whoever who makes profit, Royal Q gives me money. You guess what? Do I need 100 people? No, I need 1 million people, 5 million, 100 millions, because business is open around the world. That's why when I, I finish this Zoom, I start another one. When I finish the, uh, that one, I go to another one. When I have people, one person, that's why I use my social media every day to talk about Royal Q. Facebook page, YouTube channel, and so on and so forth. That's why we came together as a team and we have the number of lecturers who are teaching. Are you ready to build people? Are you ready to build people purposely to build a system that will be paying you than if you are sleeping? That's a challenge in front of you. And if you do it, no excuse of any kind. People are millions around the world. Business is not for Lesotho. It's not for Rwanda. It's not for Uganda. It's for the whole world. How much do you use your social media? How do you interact with people to tell them your business? But sometimes maybe you watch others' businesses and the other adverts from the different areas. But when you are watching things people do, they are targeting you to join them. Why don't you target them to join you? So. This is a greatest concern everyone should put into account that if you build a team of people who are trading and you teach them, you teach them, you train them to teach others, it builds a business for you. You can become a millionaire in dollars. You can become a millionaire and billionaire, but comes from how you understand it and how you plan to do it. So allow me to welcome senior lecturer to take us through the lecture for today. Today is Monday. I have seen Marcel posting that, let everyone start the week with a new goal. I think you have a goal. Thank you, senior lecturer, uh, Sericias, you're welcome. Yes, very good. Thank you very much indeed. Wonderful introduction. And the new week indeed has begun as we have clearly observed. Yes. We have been beginning most of the things afresh. We decided that it is necessary to acquaint those ones who are relatively new so that they can begin to master some of the basic skills. Setting the robot, and we have seen that setting the robot is very important. But then we have said, if someone has reached the stage, someone has reached the stage where a person now has done everything. The person has set up the 
robot, the person has set up the Binance, the person has bought up the capital, the person has activated the robot, the person has even done the API binding, then we have said that would be the time when a person should now begin to think of how he should trade. And in the training to trade, we have said, you need to select the coins that you will be trading in. If you have two coins, three coins, four coins that you want to trade, very wonderful. And then secondly, you must learn how to make very good use of your capital. This is what we will emphasize every day, every day. So with regards to coins, we have said that the best coins for a beginner, you don't have to begin with many, you need BNB, BNB is a wonderful coin to trade. It has very small volatility. Then also BTC is the second coin you can trade. And of course we have talked of also Ethereum. So three coins are available. The rest of the coins, they are not very easy to trade. You will trade them when you advance and when you move into understanding the one shot strategy and things of the type. Technical analysis that will help you to predict the direction of the movement. But if you want a situation where you will be trading, whether the currency goes up or the currency is falling downwards, you will want to continue trading. Then the best coins are those three. You trade using the USDT. Then we have said, now, if you have decided on the coin and you've said, this is a wonderful thing, I have already done with the coin. Next, I want to move on to the capital. You have to look at the money you have. It could be that you have only 100 USDT left for trading. That is okay. It could be that you have 150. That is wonderful. Maybe you have more than that. And if you have more than that, for example, if you have 200, there are two possibilities. If you have 200, the first possibility is you can trade only one coin using the entire 200. You can put it so that you can trade only one coin. But then the second alternative is you can decide that you will be interested in trading two different coins. One is for 100, the other coin is for the next 100 USDT. That one is okay. That one is okay. Then I remember someone was asking, what if you have only 100, but you want to trade two coins, three coins, four coins? Oh, if you have only 100, it is not advisable. It is not very good if you have only 100 to trade two, three, four coins, it is not very good. You will be lucky if you are trading well. Maybe if the direction of the movement of the coin is generally upward during the bear market, sorry, sorry, during the bull, during the bull market, when most of the prices are rising up, then you will be lucky because during the bull market, someone can trade very, very well, even with only 50. But it is not very good if the currency begins to reverse moving downwards. Because when the currency is moving downward, we have already seen that you will have to buy several times. When it drops a certain level, buy, drops a certain level, buy, drops a certain level, buy, buy, buy. So where do you get the money to buy, buy, buy? When you have only 100 and you have divided it to three coins, you will buy perhaps once or twice and the money is finished. So what are we emphasizing? What we are emphasizing is that in the second instance, when you are now planning your capital, you have to be very wise. Good enough, in our team, we have prepared some standard settings. We have prepared some standard settings. And we take our people through some standard settings so that it will be possible for them to do the trade and to handle the trade very well. Last week, we talked of a person who wants to put 150 to trade a coin. We explained that one very well. 
And then we also touched on a person who wants to trade using 100, using 100. For a person who has 150, we have said, we usually remove 10 to start trade so that you are remaining with 140. This 140 will help you because you will pick only 10 at a time when the price has dropped. Then again, you pick 10 when the price has dropped. Then again, you pick 10 when the price has dropped. And so by picking only 10, 10, 10, you have opportunity to add your stock when the price is dropping up to 14 times. You have opportunity to add your stock and to add you are stuck when the price is dropping because you were wise, you kept 140, you will have chance to buy 14 times. You will have the chance to buy 14 times. And this chance of buying 14 times is excellent because it will help you to move down and down and down so that you find that with the budget of 150, you are able to move down and continue, continue and continue buying until when you have followed the currency up to 40% drop. So even if the currency is to drop up to 40%, you will still be trading. In other words, if the currency has dropped, maybe by only 28%, ah, that one is just okay. You will be constantly trading. You will follow the trade and continue trading. That would be okay. So the setting takes care of that. What about for 90? We have said yes, sorry, no, no, not 90, 100, yes. We have said also for 100, pick, only 10 and use it for the start so that you have 90 remaining. From the 90 remaining, if the price keeps dropping, you will pick only like amount of 10 again and buy if the price has dropped. If it continues to drop, you pick another 10. If it continues to drop, you pick another 10. So with your 90, you will be in a position to buy additional stock up to nine times. Additional stock up to nine times. The first time you have already spent 10 from the 100, you are remaining with a 90. The additional money left, the 90, is able to buy for you nine different chances. And if you follow our setting and you do it correctly without any mistake, this is good also. What do we mean? What we are trying to say is that if you buy using that method and using the percentage drop, using the percentage drop, and each time you are spending only $10, $10, you are very careful. You are not very wasteful. We have said that with the budget of 100, if you follow our setting very well, you can go down and follow the market, follow the market, follow the market up to a time when the market has dropped by 24%. You will still be in a position to trade. You will trade very well, even if the market has dropped by 24%. Of course, 100 is small money. It means that if the currency continues to drop beyond 24, that is when it is necessary for you to think of adding your capital so that you leave the setting of 100 alone, you go for the setting of 150. We have said 150 takes you down up to 40% deep, and you would still be trading. That is a lot better when you have 150. That is a lot better. Maybe today, 
we will introduce also a situation where you have much more. Maybe you have 200 and you feel that with the 200, you want to use the whole sum of 200 to put it there and trade, but with only one coin so that if you get more money, you will trade other coins using other currency. So we have said, remember that with 200, yes, you can choose a situation where you can sell two different coins, one for a hundred, the other one for a budget of a hundred. But then of course we have said that also with 200, you can decide that you will want to book the whole of the 200 and you trade only one coin. You don't want the situation of spreading your money here, spreading your money here. That will be your choice and it is covered. That is why we say that choose the coin, yes. After choosing the coin, we say also determine the capital you want to spread for your business activity. That is the pattern you want to take. So let us go back and say you have 200 and this time around, you are not interested in splitting and splitting. No, you have decided you want to use the full 200. What setting will you choose to use for our currencies? Remember our currencies, we have already stipulated. BNB is among them. BTC is another one and Ethereum is the third. So from those three, you pick the one you want if you are not yet trading. If you are already trading one, you can go on and pick the second. If you have added a capital of 200, you can go on and pick the second. If you were already trading two, you can pick the third. If you have added your capital by 200, you can pick the third and you begin to trade the third. So let us now go to Royal Q. And in Royal Q, we are going to learn the setting of 200. We are going to learn the setting, how to do the setting of 200. For those who were already here, no problem, you will understand how to explain to the newcomers, but you will also be reminded to do a bit of your revision for those who have already been around and they had already seen the setting of 200, no problem. You will learn how to explain to the newcomers and you will also learn even if you had almost forgotten, you will be able to learn. So do you have a pen nearby? Do you have a pencil, a piece of paper? It is good to keep these settings, to write these settings so that you will be able to transfer just like that to the rest of the people. Now, I could have come to the same currencies we always talk about, but because I am already trading them, and I can show you that I am already trading those three. If I come to the strategy and I click there, you will see that I am already trading them very well. BNB is here, I am already trading it. And of course, Ethereum, I am already trading it. And then Bitcoin, I am already trading them. When the market is going upwards, I trade those ones using the USDT. But when the market is not clearly moving upwards, then of course, I can leave these currencies. And then instead, I go for another market where I will be trading using Bitcoin, where I will be trading using Ethereum. Those ones, we will talk about them at a later moment. So because I am already trading these three, what am I trying to say? That because I'm already trading these three, I may not go in again to begin showing you how to set this one, how to set this coin, how to set this coin, how to set this coin. But what we know is that if we go under the home 
page and we show you the setting for you have to follow for any coin whatsoever there is no problem at all there is no problem at all you can use any coin whatsoever there is no problem at all just to learn how to do the setting if they also have your robot you can use this method to learn how to do the setting you will use it to learn how to do the setting you can just pick any coin and you do all the setting except that you do not start the trading session you simply do not start the trading session so for example what if we go for the coin like uh, uh, this one here, NEO, NEO. And we use it to explain the setting of 200. That would be okay. The only thing is that we know we are setting it for learning purpose, not that we are interested in trading NEO, not at all. So I go there and I click on new, it will open. That is the beginning point. So I click on new and now new has opened and new is here to give you the assurance that you are setting new to trade using USDT. So right away, where do we go? We come to the bottom where there is the create button. We click the create button. When it comes here, you have to choose that you want Martingale. When you choose that you want Martingale, then they will open opportunity for you so that you can click create. At the moment, they have still closed it. At the moment, they have closed it. But if you choose that you want Martingale, then they will open and you click create. Now I have clicked Martingale, so I can now go and click create. Yes, it comes here. So under Martingale strategy, when you are setting the robot using the Martingale strategy, there is opportunity for you just to copy somebody's trade and it will run automatic. The only problem we have is that this person did not think of your 200. He did his own setting and he has placed it for people to copy. So how sure are you that this automatic trade that you are picking was for 200? Of course, we cannot be sure. So the best is not to pick this one and we go to the area where it's or that you can pick this one or you can pick the lower part for us we will choose the lower one and we say we are picking the lower one why so that we have more flexibility to accommodate our budget of 200 we need flexibility and of course you need to create your own. So that will be yours. You will be the owner and you will do it because it will be according to your budget. Your own budget is different and you need flexibility. So what do we do? We come and click here that this is where we want to go. Now I've click next. So finally we have come and we are still following the currency we have picked. At this location, what you have got to do is to come now to the trade setting and tell the robot what you want. Clicking the trade setting will help you to describe to the robot what you want. So I click trade setting and they open the page. Indeed, they will show me that they have opened the page for 
trade setting. That is what we wanted. We wanted trade setting. Trade setting for the currency we have picked. We have come here to tell the robot what we want. We have come here specifically to tell the robot what we want. And we have come here specifically because we want to be flexible and describe the case of 200. So we are not just going to blindly copy anything and then we just go ahead with whatever we have found here. Remember, we are coming, but with the budget of 200 and we want to set our own, not anybody's setting. So we have then to ask the robot first that please, we want to change the setting. So this button here with the pen is called the edit button. It is the button you click or the icon you click to allow you to make changes. To edit means to make changes according to your interest. So you click there so that the robot will allow you to edit. So when you click, the robot will now allow you to edit. With 200 USDT, you have to not and listen very well. When we had 100, we were proposing pick only 10. When we had 150 USDT, we were proposing pick only 10. Don't pick 15. But you have to notice that this time, because the budget is fairly good, we can allow you to use 15 USDT for the first time to test the market, the first buy-in amount. The amount is going to be 15. So we will not edit this one. We will leave it like that. If you had found something different, you would edit and put it at 15. For example, if you found that it was shown as 10, you would remove the zero and type 15 so that you edit to what you want. If you found that somebody had set it maybe to 25, you would instead remove the one and you put the, the you remove the two which was there and you type the one so that you have 15. 15 is what we need. Why? Because 200 is a fair amount. And so you can use 15 for testing the market. You can use 15 for testing the market. So not that one, that the first buy-in amount is this time going to be 15. From the 200, if you remove 15, the balance remaining would be 185. Why do we need this money? It is to help us so that if the price is dropping, we will buy. If the price is dropping, we will buy. The whole purpose of leaving the 185 is to help us. If the budget is dropping, we will keep on buying. Now, for the remaining 185, will we be picking 15, 15, 15? No, that would be extravagant. That would be too much. So instead of picking 15 to continue with picking 15, when now the market is going downwards, we have to put it in our mind that we will be asking the robot to pick only 10 now when the price is dropping so that you remain with something like 175. The next time it is dropping, pick only 10 so that you remain with something like 165. The next time it is dropping, pick only 10. So for the downward journey, 
when spending the 185, we go back to our rule that we have to be careful and we have to exploit the market. We have to benefit from the market. When the price is going downwards, don't pick big, go and pick only 10. So that you continue following the market, it is dangerous if you have wasted all your money somewhere and then down the market is proceeding, you have already stopped trading. That is not very comfortable. We want to benefit from the low quantities. The quantities down are the best quantities to buy. So spend little so that you have a bit of money to buy when the market is down. That is the whole idea. Why we spend only 10 when the price is coming downwards. We spend only 10. Moreover, when we have the $185 remaining or USDT remaining, we deliberately decide that we will try to put only 17 times of buying. Although it looks like the money is enough to buy even 18 times, but we prefer to use our standard of 17 times. Why? Because as we will go on to explain soon, you will find it difficult to buy exactly 10. Because the first buy-in amount was 10. So are you going to tell the robot that you will buy once, you will buy once, you will be buying once, then it will become 15, 15, so it is not allowed. So instead, if you want to describe how you are going to leave 15 alone and you will buy 10, we are going to see that you will tell the robot that you will buy 0.67 fraction. You will buy a 0.67 fraction of the 15 of the first buy-in amount. Instead of saying we want to buy once, one time, one time, one time, as we used to do, we are this time going to say we are going to buy 0.67 times, 0.67 times, because 0.67 is near 10. So if you have $15 and that was the first buy-in amount, and then you say you are going to buy using only 0.67, at least you can see that by the calculation, by the calculator, that is near to $10. That is near to 10 USDT. It is slightly above. What if you had decided that you are going to use 0 0.66? If you had decided that you are going to use 0 0.66, then it will be 9.9 .9 USDT. But 9.9 9 .9 USDT is not allowed for trade. Trade must start from 10 USDT when you are using the trades in the USDT market. Trades must be a minimum of 10. So 9.9 .9 is not allowed. For that reason, we put 0 0.6 and then 7. In that way, you are able to see that it is slightly above $10. Because it is slightly above $10, it means that going back to our budget, although you are aware you have $185 remaining, it is dangerous to think that you can buy 18 times because each one we have seen is 10.05, which is greater than Ten dollars greater than ten dollars. So a little because of the little extra and the little extra and the little extra, we will say we are not going to buy eighteen times. We are going to add stock seventeen times. 
each time by 10.05, 10.05, that is better. So what are we laboring to say? What we're struggling to say is that for this hole, which is the margin call, and we have said it repeatedly, that margin call means additional buying because the price is dropping and we want the stock quantity. Additional buying because the price is falling and we want to stock better quantity. So the additional buying there is the margin call. The limit should stop with 17. In other words, if it has bought 17 times, that is good and the money will be finished. Next, also because the budget is 200, we normally say that a profit of 1.3 is better. If you have a budget of 200, then you can put your profit at 1.3, it is better. This is the standard that we recommend. This is the standard that we recommend and we prefer that people should get used to the standard. If you prefer to put something else, it should be that you really understand the result. If you are a new beginner and you are not after much explanation, you want to learn to set, that is your goal, you want to learn to set, then please put 1.3. Then we come to the callback. Callback, we have said is, if the price after going is beginning to reverse, if the price after going in one direction, the price is going to reverse. We have said, if the price begins to reverse when it has gone very, very well first, in a good, in any direction, the price is beginning to reverse. That is the callback we have said. For all the callback, we will prefer that the reverse should not go for too long. A reverse of 0.1% is enough. The robot should act if the price after going in one direction is reversing. We don't want the price to reverse very much and the robot is just watching. That would result into loss of opportunity. So the robot should act very fast. So those are okay. The 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, yes. They are okay. So we have done with this. We have explained this. We have seen this. And then of course the 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So those are finished. Next, we have said, after you are finished with what you have on the surface here, then now you have to go inside and explain. I am going to buy 17 times, yes. It must first be that the price has dropped by how much? And then we stock the quantity and buy once, and then we buy. Again, it should be that the price has fallen by what percent, and then we stock. So those 17 opportunities, we have to come and explain here. It is called configuration. Configuration of what? configuration of the margin calls, the 17 margin call, that is why they, they call it the margin configuration, setting the 17 margin calls. We come and click here, it will open. And here they are, the 17 margin calls. The 17 margin calls are here. So we have to tell the robot what we want based on a budget of 200 where we have even already removed 15 and we are left with only 185. So we are coming here to explain how the robot should use the 185. We are coming here in the margin call to explain how the robot should use the 185 USDT. The purpose of coming here is basically to see how the robot should understand. So we come. Now, on the left, we have explained again and again is to see if the market is dropping, the price is dropping. It should drop by what percent if the price is dropping? 
it should drop by what percent? Here, we will say that for the first 10 margin calls, we should allow the price to drop by 1%. We should allow the price to drop by 1%. So here, the 1% is okay, 1% is okay, 1% is okay. And we allow it to go up to number 10. And that is where our 1%, 1%, 1% will stop. There must be 1% drop in price, 1% drop in price. 1% drop in price, 1% drop in price. Then the robot should buy. The robot should buy. The robot should buy. Number 11 up to the end. Remember, there are 17 margin calls. Okay? I think you remember there are 17 margin calls. So from number 11 up to the end, we now have to be careful and we tell the robot that from number 11, wait until there is a drop of 6% because we don't want to miss opportunity of buying at the bottom when it is cheap. So wait until 6%, wait until 6%, wait until pick 6% from number 11 up to the end. Wait until 6%, wait until 6%. So this helps so that you don't miss buying when the price has gone very low. If you put only 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, then of course it means that you will go downwards for the 17 margin calls. You will also go downward and stop when the price has fallen only by 17%, then you are stopping because for the 17 times, you have allowed a drop of under 1% and you are buying, a drop of under 1% and you are buying. So when the currency has dropped by 17%, your money then gets used and it will be over. By the time it is going to 18% drop, there is no money, and yet it is cheaper. By the time it is 19%, there is no money, and yet it is cheaper. By the time it is 30%, there is no money, and yet it is very, very cheap, and you are regretting the money finished when it was only 17%. By the time you are at 30%, there is no money. The currency is very cheap, very easy to buy, big quantity. That is the reason why we say now six, 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 so that we try to push the journey and run very fast towards the bottom to benefit from the prices at the bottom. If you do it very well, you will know that up to number 10, you have already gone 17%, okay? In, sorry, no, not 17, sorry. Up to number 10, you have already gone by 10% down. But now from number 11 up to 17, those are seven margin calls. For each of the seven you have spared and you have said you will be patient, the robot should be patient. There must be 6% first in order to buy. This means that you have wisely calculated a journey of 42%. So if the 42% is added to the 10%, then this is a wonderful setting that will help you to go down by 52%, meaning that even if the price of the coin has gone down and it has dropped by half or more, you will still be able to buy this coin and you will be very happy because you are buying the coin when the price has dropped by half. 52% means that it has even dropped beyond half. So you will be a trader and you will be buying big quantity at the bottom and selling for profit. Big 
quantity at the bottom and selling for profit. So this setting is very good. At least it will go down and you continue trading even if the currency has gone and dropped beyond half. The price has been cut beyond half. You will still be able to trade. So we have said it all. And we have now finished the setting up to number 17. Number 17, of course, is below there. After you have done all the setting, you have to confirm. You click the confirm button, the robot will store. What have we stored? The configuration for the 17 margin calls. The 17 margin calls, we have shown the robot how much percent of drop it should drop. How much percent of drop? It should drop. Have we missed something? Yes, we have missed something. We have shown how it should drop, but we have not explained the quantity it should buy. So we shouldn't rush. Let us go back. And when we go back, we will concentrate on the right hand side. The right hand side is the quantity we should buy. We should buy in what multiple? We should buy in what multiple? As I had already said, the first buy in amount was 15. So if you want to buy only about $10 because the price is dropping, we have already explained that you don't have to say that I am going to buy one time. Because that means that you are going to spend 15. If you say, I'm going to buy one time, it means that you are going to spend 15. In order to spend 10 only, you have to say that you are going to pick 0 0.67 times of the $15 originally. The $15 originally. You are going to buy only 0 0.67 times. And we have said that 0 0.67 times using the calculator here, that's 0 0.67 times of the $15 means that we are asking the robot to buy approximately 10 USDT, but of course, slightly more, approximately, but slightly more. So that is how to explain 10 USDT. How do you explain? You tell the robot that, please use only 0 0.67 of the first buy-in amount. That is what we wanted to show you. So on the right-hand side, 0 0.67, 0 0.67, 0 0.67, until all of the 17 are in place. Since they are all in the place now, it is okay. So. Once again, we tell the robot that we have done what we want. Please confirm. So we click the confirm. So you have to be sure when you are doing margin configuration that you have shown the percent of the price drop and you have also shown how much is to be bought. How much is to be bought, then you are finished. Next. We come, we talked last week about the whole position and then we talk about the sub position. When you are buying or when you are selling, you can be a whole seller or a retailer. When you are selling, you can be a whole seller. Sometimes when you are selling, you can be a retailer. If you want to sell a bull, you can decide to sell the entire bull as wholesale without skinning, without killing. But then someone can decide that I'm going to sell my bull as sub position. The head, somebody is going to buy. The legs, somebody is going to buy. The meat, somebody is going to buy. The skin, somebody is going to buy. The tail, somebody is going to buy. In that case, this trader opens the meat of the animal and the person begins to sell sub position. So whole position we have said 
is for the first buy in amount and then from the 17 margin calls margin call number one two three four these ones usually will sell together and we refer to that as whole position from position number five going on until position number 17 it is not necessary to sell together like you are insisting you want to sell a live bull instead you can break it up so that the distance the coin has traveled you remember we have said the coin can now travel up to 52 percent down you can't wait until the coin has come back to zero to get your profit even when it is it has gone down to 52 percent you can still ask the robot that if for any reason the lower ones because you bought them cheaply if they have already made their profit they should sell the lower ones as the price is coming back if they have already made their profit they should sell the lower ones they should sell in that case you will say you are going to kill the bull and open the skin and pick the meat in kilos to sell in kilograms to sell that is called sub position and it applies as we have said when you have gone and you have gone beyond four from one to four it will sell wholesale from five to number 17 we have said yes you can decide to distribute and sell as sub position it will be distributed you sell a supposition. So we have to explain from the 17 margin call. When we get to margin call number five, six, seven, we have to explain what profits do you want? We have said that for number one, two, three, four, whole profit, we want 1.3. What about the distributed profit? Do you still want the 1.3? Yes. We will tell the robot that we want the 1.3. So we go there and we tell the robot, yes, for number five, profit of 1.3. For number six, profit of 1.3. For number seven, 10, profit of 1.3. But we usually stop with number 10 because this one we have said that the robot should calculate when it has gone 1%, it should buy, 1%, it should buy, 1%, it should buy. And so getting for us the profit from those small, small journey. It's okay. But this one, we have said that it should go 6%, 6%, 6%. So we will get very little profit. Instead, from number 11, we will say that at least give us a profit of 2% because we have traveled a big distance of 6% down. And then to sell at a profit of 1.3 is very small profit because the journey is big. It's like a long journey. I am driving from Uganda to Rwanda. I cannot charge very cheaply for the passengers. I am driving from here to Kigali. I cannot charge very cheaply for the passengers. So because of the long journey from number 11 up to number 17, we can deliberately decide that at least a profit of two, 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 two would be better because the journey is big, six, six, six. At least we should be able to get two, two, two percent. That is it. When you finish this setting, and that is our very wonderful standard setting that we want the people to remember, you have to tell the robot to confirm. So you click confirm the robot will start that. Then you know you have finished editing. Since you have finished editing, you have got to go back and return the pen in the toolbox. You had picked the pen from the toolbox and we'd said that you were doing what we call to edit. You were editing. Now you have finished editing, return the pen and tell the robot you have finished editing. So you click there, 
and the robot will ask you, do you want to save what you have edited? You want to save it? Then you say, yes, confirm. I want to save them. Although we are only demonstrating, but it is okay to save. It doesn't do any harm. So you click that you want to save. The robot has now stored. The robot has now stored. What did we say when you come here? We have said that when you come here, remember you have told the robot that you will prefer to split the bull to sell as subsets in terms of small, small quantities. How do you tell the robot? Don't assume that the robot will just follow. You have to tell the robot from here. So strategy mode is where you go next to tell the robot how it should skin the bull and sell S kilo. So you click strategy mode and you have to be sure that it is sub, sub, not whole. In this case, they have ticked here that it is sub, that is okay. Also, this one is okay, but we don't like that one very much. This one is better. What is the difference? If you click here, then they will store your profit, yes? They sell by one, one by one store your profit. You sell one by one store your profit. But they will wait until they have sold everything, and then they will show you the profit. It is as if you have said that sell the whole bull when you have sold all the kilos first then show me the money. But this one here is where you want real time settlement. It means that even if you have sold the bull for only two hours, if I want to see the record, show me. Even if the bull is not yet finished, show me. What you have sold, show me. What you have sold, show me. So they will show you in real time. Anything sold, they will show you. Anything sold, they will show you. Whatever is sold, they will show you. That is why we talk of it as real-time settlement. In other words, show me the record immediately. I want to see. Show me the record immediately. But this one will not show you the record immediately. It will sell one by one, all right, because it is sub-bean. It is sub-bean. It will sell like kilo, 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 all right. But it will not show you the record because you have not demanded real time settlement. So they will not show you the record. They will show you the record when everything is sold first. They keep the record to themselves, like someone who wants to show you the amount from the bull. What if the bull takes three days to sell and finish? And sometimes some bulls are big, some villages are small. The, bulls, the bull can sell up to the following day. So you will not see the money on day number one. They will show you the money on day number two. And some people don't like that. So we normally prefer real time settlement. Show me the money you have made. That is it. So we click there. Of course, if you click, wherever you click, the arrow goes there. When you click up, or middle or bottom, the arrow will show there. But we prefer that your blue tick, not arrow, tick. Your blue tick should be in number three. When it is there, tell the robot to confirm. The robot will confirm and it will sell number five, six, seven as fractions, as subset. It will sell as was in this location. The choice was in that location. Then it will not sell as part, part, part. It will sell like selling the entire live bull. And if that is the case, and by mistake, you had say confirm. You will see that 
they will close the box and for still the network is poor the network is poor i hope it will not interrupt you will see that we close the they will close the box. Oh, the network, the network is poor, the network is poor, the network is poor. The network is poor. The network is poor. I hope we'll find. Network is, is poor. Uh, There's no voice. Hey, no voice. Exactly, it has been, of course, uh, going off. That's why the voice was going off. But actually, has completed the deal. When you are selling, of course, uh huh, it's back. I hope it will be okay. Let me try to share the screen again. I don't know. I don't understand why the problem. Maybe maybe there is some problem of transmission okay so it is still struggling again it is still struggling again to load to load to load oh no 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 let me close the royal queue altogether and i open it again i open the royal queue again and uh, if i remember we were handling the coin known as Neo. If I remember very well, I think you also remember the coin that we were using to demonstrate our trade setting is Neo here. So let me go back now and I see any change. We have said that if you come here and you're setting, you go from the market to create. So we create. Then we have said you have to ask that you want Martingale so that you create. And then we have said you have to do your own with your own flexibility. So this is what we choose. At least that's what we did. And then we said you come here. Okay, yes. Finally, it is done. You can see the difference. When you see this, you know that of the three choices, it has not selected the second, it has not selected the third, it has picked the first. That means that you have set the robot deliberately to sell all the 17 margin calls together without opening the meat of the bull. It will pick as a whole bull and sell at once. And that means too much waiting. It is like selling a whole bull or a whole cow. It will not be easy to get a buyer compared to selling meat and meat and meat. Therefore, when you have opened the bull and you're selling in kilos, it is easier. So please don't go for this unless you are really interested in that and you are patient for even a whole month. So instead, we normally click the strategy and we say, do it for us and show me the profit any time a trade has occurred. Select the third, confirm, and then they will open the carton for retail. We have said that one is sub sub bin mod real-time settlement good so that is it ladies and gentlemen and if you have done everything you finally tell the robot to start the trade it will pick your 15 dollars it will buy the currency and then it will now start watching is it coming downwards or is the price going upwards if it is going upwards it will target your profit positions, profit positions, profit position. If it is going downwards, aha, uh -huh, the 17 margin calls will start buying. 
that is it. So normally that is how to set it. What is important today is that we trust you have seen a trade when your budget is 200 and you have decided that you are not going to divide for two coins. You will use the full 100 to invest and target only one coin as a whole. That's what we have learned today. For those who had seen it before, it is only a revision. For those who are seeing it for the first time, please follow that setting so that you continue trading even if the price of the currency has dropped by 52%. And by that time, you will be buying very cheaply. Of course, currencies normally, rarely, they, they rarely go there. Sometimes they stop, by the way, when it has gone, maybe even down only 18%. That is okay. It means that from your money that you have, you have kept it as a reserve. Just to wait for any dangerous move, you are using only a small fraction. That is okay. Some people again start complaining that I wanted to buy 17. It has bought only four. What happened? It has bought only three. What happened? Why? Why? Why am I seeing only three? I thought we said we are supposed to buy 17. No. 17, that is if it has dropped by one, one, by one, 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 until it has finished all the 10 and it is still continuing to drop. That is where you buy the 17. It doesn't mean that if it has dropped by only 4%, if it has dropped by only 4%, you will buy only first, second, third, and four, because you will stop with four margin calls. If it has dropped by only four, how do you expect to buy 17 times? Not that way. So someone should not begin complaining or inboxing or attacking people. No, you will only reach the 52%. That is when you will successfully use the full 17 margin calls and spend the entire 200. If not, you will always have reserve money waiting for margin calls to drop so that you take opportunity and invest in the quantity. So ladies and gentlemen, allow me to stop here. This is the trade setting. We have picked this coin, not because we want to trade, but just to demonstrate how to do trade setting. That is why you can see that I have decided not to trade because it is not part of the main choices of coins we use for our trade. You will trade this one at an advanced stage later when you have understood trade setting and you are able to move on your own. Otherwise, thank you very much indeed for listening to this program of our lesson. Let me see if there is any burning question. I don't think so. Uh -huh. No, no burning question. Otherwise, that is it. I thank you and let me hand over to Mr. John Paul Ramajema. It has taken us 20 minutes extra, but thank you for your patience. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much, senior lecturer. That is it. When you, you, you are in class and you are learning carefully, that is it. If you are a driver, who is working in public transport, you are making money from transport. And of course, in this trading robot is, is at work for you. You have two sources of income, crypto trading and transport, uh, of course, uh, work. If you are in a shop, of course, selling the, the local commodities, you are earning money from selling sugar, salt and some other items robot is at work working for you in the crypto space this means that you are creating the sources of income in your work but 
However, if you are trading like this with your 200 and you have built a team of 1 million traders on your link who are trading, you are getting two sources of income. One is this one from your profit you have set and another one, which is bigger one, is from that 1 million people who are trading on your link that you have educated. This is what we are doing. And of course, if you are in other areas, you can have more than uh, 20 businesses and you include this one. This is trading, you can do. Skills you have in trade settings will always differentiate you from you and other traders because you would pick the, in the profit you want, somebody will pick the profit he wants, but this is the standard we are just giving to students now affiliate that when you are learning setting, you should just have a standard that can enable you, of course, to trade um, with uh, fundamentals. But when you go to the next level of professionalism, you go to the technical analysis and you go beyond, you trade in other area that can even uh, make you reach somewhere. You have your capital, good capital, you make profit, robot closes position. And you go out of the market, you set again. You use cycle mode, you can just uh, uh, allow your robot to trade for you the whole one year without changing any other setting. When other people are trading in features, they spend more time, of course, in that kind of way, staking, doing something, but uh, robot here is unique. It's artificial intelligence that was designed purposely to help someone to work when he's sleeping, when he's on, uh, on journey, when he's doing some other work and it executes. Now, why are we here? Why are we educating you here? What school fees have you paid to us here? Nothing, but we are building the system because Royal Q has given us this opportunity. So now, um, there is a name I have seen the first time, someone called Lion. I would like to welcome Lion to introduce himself to us, to let us know where he's joining from and the one who invited him in our call. Lion, if you can hear me, please unmute yourself and introduce yourself to us. Yes, please. Hello. Yes. Yes. How are you? Very Hello. Good. Yes. Thank you for this this time. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Where are you joining from? I'm in Rwanda. Who invited you to our call? Uh, it's Peter. All right. Good. Thank you. So. Thank you um, too. Uh, have you joined Royal Q? Have you activated your Royal Q? Yeah, uh, yes, but uh, I'm not yet uh, started to to join to 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 trade. Can you but send I, me I, your I, number? Can you send me one number, of course, so that I can put you on our platform, please? My number. Mm -hmm. You can send it via chat box so that I can have it and I put you on our platform. So that we we'll are... be able to do this. Where I will send it to you. Uh, do you know how to use Zoom to write a message on Zoom? Okay, let me send yes. you mine. You will see a message uh, and you will WhatsApp me. I want to text you. Can I sh sh share, with, share with you this window? And the... Now you can see on the... You can see on the chat, of course, there is a down where there is a message on chat on your Zoom. Hey, you this is your number. Yes, save that number. You text me on WhatsApp. Uh, let me look, see it again. You go to the chat down below on your Zoom. There is where there is the uh, yes. participants and chat. Click there. You will see the number. Take screenshot. You will just have it later and you save it uh, to okay. your phone. And that's WhatsApp me, I will add you on our platform. Then you will go in the, I will guide you at the list of, of course, the other things. Yes, yes of course, 
I have talked to Peter, that will be sending all people he has so that we can educate them. This is the class where people are learning from the basics. Thank you. Up to... All right. I, and I have sent to... we will talk more. All right. I have sent to... I, thank, I have thank I, I have tried to review now. Good. Good. Thank you. Um, Mr. Elze has not been with us for a long time. I can see him on call here. Elze, how are you? Uh, yes, how are you too? Good, thank you. Yes, take two more long time without participating in this training. But I think uh, at this time I'm available. I was out. Okay, all right. You're welcome. Yeah, back. Back, I'm back. Yes, Mr. Fiki from Lesotho. How are you? Good morning. Fiki, are you on call? Maybe he's still making his breakfast. Possibly. And of course, uh, Pauline uh, from Rwanda, of course. Pauline, how are you? I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. of course, these days I see you on call. I hope you are benefiting from the lecture. So we have, um, uh, of course, we have uh, arranged all the lectures from the chronological order and we drop them on platform. And now this is the lecture eight. We started from lecture one and we put on the YouTube and the chronological order and we drop it on uh, our WhatsApp group that you can learn from the first lesson, lecture, first lecture up to the last one where we are the current lecture. So we'll be doing this so that when you are not available, you can even just be using uh, that kind of uh, platform. So um, uh, Mr. Leon, I have seen you have texted me, but uh, the message is not complete. But if you have recorded my number, please, you will text me via WhatsApp so that I can guide you how you will be joining all our platforms so that you can be able to uh, follow us live directly without passing through anywhere. So now, uh, Mr. Mar uh, Marcel uh, is a, a lecturer. We work together in different areas. And hopefully, um, he's going to to start uh, next uh, some days to start uh, lecturing so that uh, of course we make it uh, much clear. So I thank you so much. We can keep it here. We have to do a lot and we have of course to, uh, some people are consistent, they learn repeatedly and they don't uh, follow get quick leech. Those who are in get quick leech, this is, you will never manage to do this business. We are not in the get quick leech. We move slowly with the target and we lead somewhere as we build a big system of people. One day I will have 1 million people in the affiliate who are trading. When I have 1 million people, that means a big business. Why? We do Zoom meetings every now and then, different hours from different languages with different people. But this class of the beginners, and of course others who have, uh, uh, we decided of course to come on, on Scratch this way. We know there are some people who are at work at 3 p.m. we are coming back and even 7 p.m. will be here. At night, we are learning about technical analysis. We have introduced the trading view and the technical analysis. Mr. Eli Kwizelmana takes us through this point. Language is English. And of course, now affiliate, maybe you have some other people who use uh, other languages, but for us, uh, preferably we are using English throughout all the time. Morning English program, afternoon English program, evening English program. If you want to start your team and you teach in local language, you want Kinyarwanda, French, Swahili, or whatever, it's up to you. You can teach your team in the language you want, but for us, we are teaching in English a lot. Thank you so much. I um, appreciate our senior lecturer for the great work and uh, some entire team of lecturers that we are working together to help people learn. I thank Mr. Feki from uh, Lesotho for great work he's doing with his team. 
And of course, Lion, if you have uh, come across us, this is how we make it. And of course, when you get in touch, you will be with us. And uh, I thank uh, Mr. Elize, who is back from abroad, and now he's coming to be with us again. So this time we are going to make it. Yes, this is how we make it. Remember, we are climbing higher. In Royal Q, we have ranks from VIP 1 to VIP 6. Myself, I have managed to reach VIP 3. Some other people are on VIP 2. But in our affiliate, we have, of course, VIP 3 and VIP 2 and ones. So how do you get there? You build the team of traders. The bigger number you have, there's qualification. You can just climb higher to the rank. When you go to another rank, of course, you qualify to become a mentor. When you are an official mentor in the system, you can mentor people in your team or outside your team. And this time, you can be paid for being a mentor to the people who are uh, in your mentorship. When they are in the system and they are trading, they are building a team, you benefit from being a mentor. When you are a mentor, the team member who are trading, who are activating new members, Royal Q pays you the income for mentor, which is different from the bonuses you get from activation. Again, you can build your own circle as a trader. And now, meaning that when people copy your trade, you can, of course, benefit from that. And whenever they make profit, you are paid. So in Royal Q, there are four ways you can be paid. One, you are trading yourself from your capital. Two, you are uh, activating new members. That is another kind of uh, uh, being paid. Three, you are a mentor and the team of mentors, mentees you have, whenever they are trading, Royal Q pays you, of course, the bonus for that. And number four, you create your circle and the people can copy your trade and uh, trading strategy. And then when they are just doing it, you can be paid four ways pays you the dollars. And now, please, the more you go higher to next rank, the percentage of bonus you get increases, meaning that when you are VIP one, the money you are paid from all those, uh, of, of course, when you are via VIP one, you don't qualify to become a mentor. You become a mentor when you are V2, uh, meaning that the mentorship bonuses, you cannot get it when you are VIP one because you don't qualify. And when you become VIP2, the percentage you get even in activation is bigger than what VIP1 gets. And the mentorship, of course, bonus you get uh, also um, uh, keeps, uh, of course, coming in, in, a, in a different way. So let us do business with uh, calculations. We are calculating, and of course, we are all the time looking for the, the, the benefit that we can get from the business. But most importantly, everybody, either you are V6, either you are V1, you should have trading skills because it is the common goal for everybody that you should know how trading skills. We talk about the robotic setting, the trade setting, and you know the technical analysis, of course, of analyzing the market. And then this time, it will make you a professional trader who will always build others and of course, when you build others, you build a big business and your capital works for you. By the way, building others creates for you more capital. When you are activating new members, your capital increases and now you give your robot more capital. It trades for you and you make life beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, I have seen Lion has opened the mic. Uh, Lion, do you have anything to say? Nothing. All right. Thank you so much. Enough, so, enough. All right, let's keep it here. We meet again at 3 p.m. Rwanda time, which is 4 p.m. It is 4 p.m. Rwanda time, which is 5 p.m. East African time. So uh, the same link, you click on the same link and you can even invite others if you want to be. To build some people to walk with. If you want to walk, to reach far, you can move with others. But if you want to walk alone, maybe it cannot make you reach far. So in Royal Q, we move together and in Royal Q, we, lift, we uplift one another. And as we do it, we create income uh, status. And of course, we make life beautiful. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. You too.